Hello friends, Toy Daycare is open. Mama Z is here. Today we have quite an interesting object right here in front of me. <laughs> because we have a really awesome DIY today and pretty much every single item that I will be using in this DIY I got at the dollar store. So let's put this aside and I'll tell you a little bit more about my idea. So you see this book? Disney Descendants Annual 2018 featuring Disney Descendants 2 movie. Review of this book is coming very soon to our Toy Day Kid channel. But while I was reviewing this really awesome book, I found amazing DZ DIY that I got super inspired and today I will be doing different accessories inspired by DZ. We're going to be decorating hair clips as well as many different items and everything is going to look like it belongs to DZ or was made by DZ. So let's go ahead and look inside of this bag. What do we have there? So I have this really awesome headband. Actually I got this one not at the dollar store. I got like a couple items um, not at the dollar store just because I couldn't find these particular items there. So I have this regular plastic headband. I didn't want to get too thin or too wide. So this is the perfect size that I want. We're going to decorate this. We're also going to decorate this sunglasses. Next, we are going to be decorating this hair clips, just like we just saw inside of Disney Descendants 2 book. These are some of the accessories that I will be using. We are going to be decorating this brush, as well as this ponytail. And because this is so talented, she knows how to dye the hair, she knows how to sew and create different accessories. Of course, she needs scissors, so we are going to be decorating scissors for Dizzy as well. We will need self-adhesive rhinestones. I have more rhinestones right here, some spikes that I was using for our Disney Descendants 2 Eevee Mel and Uma inspired pumpkins, sequin ribbon, as well as diamond wrap. I have blue, I have green, gold, red. We will need glue gun with sparkly glue sticks. And I have a bunch of nail polishes that I just you know have been collecting from years to years I have black green pink yellow orange I'm making a major mess here <laughs> purple blue sparkly purplish green or more teal color and yellow all right so without further ado let's jump in into our DZ inspired DIY and of course I have to put picture of DZ for inspiration and for our first accessory we are going to be using this hairbrush as you can see I chose the brush the same color as DZ's apron you guys see all I'll be using is nail polish okay well maybe we're gonna add a few rhinestones we'll see nail polishes do have some chemicals so I would definitely ask your parents or adults to help you with this DIY as well as uh, when you're going to be working with scissors and uh, glue gun Okay, so our brush is pretty much finished. It smells very, very strong, like nail polish is here. So definitely I will need to leave this brush to dry because as you can see, there are some serious layers of nail polish on top of this brush. And while this brush is drying, I'm going to add a few rhinestones. I'll be using orange, blue and green rhinestones for this DIY. And I'm just gonna randomly spread them all over the brush. And our brush is all ready. We just have to wait for it to get dry. Okay, let's move on to our next DIY and this time we are going to be working with a little bit more nail polish and we're going to create some really adorable designs on top of this uh, hair clips 
and I will be getting my ideas from this book always ask an adult to help you so I'm going to take a few hair clips out okay so let's create four hair clips right here and I'm not going to remove them because it's so much easier to hold to this paper and paint rather than you know hold them like this because you're probably gonna get nail polish all over your skin looking at this picture uh, they were using blue and orange green and some pink and yellow flowers blue and white oh little hearts are so cute so let's start with this teal color first as you can see the table gets very very messy so definitely keep a mat underneath of your working area and I'm going to do some stripes first one is ready and as I mentioned earlier it smells very very strong like nail polishes so you may want to wear a little mask to protect you from inhaling all these smells Alright, next one we are going to try to do some flowers on the next one. So I'm going to paint it light blue. Now I'm going to be using this dark yellow color. I'm going to do your little tiny centerpieces. I also wanted to mention that you can use uh, this nail art tool maybe it will be even easier to uh, do little flowers with this tool I got it on Amazon but as you can see it's pretty easy to make flowers just with a uh, uh, nail polish brush just make sure that you don't have too much nail polish on the brush because otherwise you'll have incident like this <laughs> Okay, so our hair clips are ready. I think they're super adorable. I'm going to take a little break from nail polishes and I'm going to decorate this ponytail. Again, I chose this color because it really reminds me of DZ and the color of her apron. I'm going to apply a few self-adhesive rhinestones. The only thing that when you put it on your hair, the rhinestones may come out and may get stuck in your hair so just be careful and keep that in mind but besides that i think they work really really good uh, this self-adhesive rhinestones that again i got uh for a dollar so i'm going to be using green pink maybe some orange as well and just stick them all over this awesome ponytail And here it is, now it's so awesome, sparkly, completely bedazzled ponytail. All the little rhinestones stay, yay! <laughs> I'm very happy with this one. All right, let's continue with ponytails. So I have this colorful ponytails from the dollar store as well. And the colors I have red, I have purple, I have green, I have yellow, and uh, I have light blue and dark blue right I think these are all the colors and I specifically picked out uh, these ponytails because see how they have fuzzy part and then regular part and I thought that it will be so cool to decorate them with um, little ribbons but I couldn't find the ribbons at the dollar store but I found <laughs> these awesome gift decorations and look at this they have the same exactly colors as Dizzy. 
Isn't it cool? It has green, it has orange, blue, and pink. I'm going to cut a few of this and a few of these ribbons, curly bows, that's what they're called, and tie them onto the ponytails. So I got pink one, blue one, green one, and orange. All right, so now we are going to tie it around. One, we're gonna tie green one to the same exactly area. Two, three, and four. Here it is. So I specifically did it only on one side, not all over the ponytail, just because I feel like it's gonna be easier for you to uh, tie this ponytail around your ponytail. <laughs> And that's how it's gonna look so awesome! So I'm going to do one more like this and we're going to tie this ponytail on Evie's hair. Aww, Evie looks so cute with this Disney-inspired ponytail. Doesn't she? I love it. <laughs> and you guys can have the same ponytails for yourself as well. Now friends, let's move on to sunglasses. And we will need this sequin ribbon. I chose the blue one as well as uh, the self-adhesive spikes, glue gun with glue stick, and nail polishes. First, I'm going to glue these spikes right here to the corners of the sunglasses. And they are a little bit sharp, so <laughs> if you do decide to do the same thing, be careful. Now we have to measure the sequin ribbon from one spike going down then right here next to the nose area and going back up so somewhere right here I'm going to trim it okay and now I will be using my glue gun so if you guys gonna do the same thing make sure you ask adult help because glue gun obviously is very hot And the bottom part we are going to paint with nail polish again. This part of the sunglasses I will be coloring with orange, light blue, pink and teal colored nail polishes. I think it would be really awesome to add golden color nail polish but unfortunately I don't have golden nail polish but I have this uh, like copper color so I'm going to add a few brush strokes here and there to finish the design of this sunglasses. Alright friends I'm almost done with my nail polishes I have one more craft and it will be scissors. So we are going to paint this regular purple scissors with these colors of nail polish. You can do both sides. You can do one side, then let it dry and do the other side. But in this video, just to show you, I'm going to do one side. This is how our scissors came out and I love the way they look. Super awesome, super colorful and as I said you can color the other side as well or you can just have one side kind of boring and the other side is like a party. Yay! <laughs> so we have one more DIY and I'm going to be decorating this regular black 
headband. And no, I'm not going to be using any more nail polish. Yay, finally I can breathe fresh air. <laughs> I will be using um, this green color diamond wrap. I'm going to measure from one side to the other side. Then I'm going to trim it. I'm going to use my glue gun. And if you use your glue gun, remember ask adult supervision. And I'm going to glue it around the headband. And after this, I'm going to decorate the headband with this jumbo rhinestones. They're not self-adhesive, so I will have to use glue gun as well. headband is all ready and it's so sparkly do you guys remember how it looked before it was plain black headband and now it's green sparkly with all the different rhinestones I love it all right friends let's have a closer look at all of our Disney descendants to Disney inspired accessories I had so much fun creating all of them and honestly it's such a hard decision to choose the best one my favorite one because i think all of them look absolutely adorable so creative and so unique i think these hair clips are so cute and i was actually nervous a little bit that when you open the hair clip i thought that nail polish would uh, crack i can open it close it open it close it and nail polish is not cracking so i'm super happy with that I think they look very cute the scissors look cool and this hairbrush is awesome as well so bright and colorful and sparkly all right friends let me know in the comments below which Disney inspired DIY is your favorite this hairbrush scissors headband ponytail little ponytails with ribbons hair clips or sunglasses click the like button if you like these accessories share this video with your friends and subscribe to toy daycare for more disney descendants videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye if you like our videos please like share comment and subscribe to toy daycare thank you very much